okay welcome welcome to this uh, quick recording today let's have a look at one of the most uh, useful and important feature for a designer uh, which is optimization as a designer i typically create such intricate parts sometimes based on aesthetics sometimes based on the requirements of the design uh, other way around uh, i also face challenges where i need to decide the important thicknesses like the thickness of this this particular rib down here uh, it could be the thicknesses down here or it could be things like which should be the right material that has to be used for this particular part so these these are the interesting challenges that he faces and obviously he will look at a simulation software to do those testings or simulation so one basic setup could be he applies all those loads and boundary conditions in the simulation he does the simulation uh, he understands the deflections and stresses but the bigger challenge will be when he wants to play with these thicknesses and and he has no idea which way to go or he has to do all those iterations manually however in solid work simulation we have this optimization option using which we can uh, uh, give the different uh, thicknesses uh, or we can use the different parameters used in solid works to create this part to optimize the setup so in this case we have a few parameters like the rib thickness i am saying it can vary from 1 mm to 3 mm i have the cut depth i am saying it is varying from 1 mm to 10 mm by the way obviously the designer has to decide uh, the variations it can't be the user it can't be the software so obviously the designer has a role over here to ensure um, ensure these bandwidths are given correctly there on i can give the constraints that is factor of safety uh, in this case it is factor of safety wherein i am saying i need to ensure the factor of safety is always greater than 2 and finally the mass you can see here uh, rather other way around i am using mass to optimize this setup i want to ensure this part is as light as possible however it maintains the factor of safety and plays using the variables that i have to allowed it to play with okay so here it is um, i can typically trigger a solution uh, it does its own uh, own iterations based on an algorithm for optimization and if you see this setup down here this was the initial model uh, it iterates down here trying different sizes based on the limits given to it uh, you can see a few in pink few in green etc so the the ones in pink are actually uh, not fitting the uh, constraint given by us which is the factor of safety so these are ruled out whereas there are a few which can be considered but of course there is one final iteration uh, which is actually if you compare uh, uh, it with the final one let me try to get a bigger screen here my mouse yeah got it so here it is if this is the initial iteration which is on the display here if i show you the optimal one it looks something like this so uh, software has done the iterations on its on its own to give us this particular optimized setup so this is a interesting feature uh, in solid earth simulation which can help you reduce the mass of components uh, decide the thicknesses we can even control material properties decide which is the best metal or plastic to be used for this particular component by the way this optimization option is also available for motion you can use motion or kinematic simulation uh, as well as flow simulation Uh, uh as well you can play with like uh, the volumes inside for fluids and uh, optimize on the designs uh, because this is all driven through solidworks cad which is a parametric software the same parameters can be controlled through any of these simulation softwares and we can um, we can optimize the designs thank you